everyone, Gabby here, and to celebrate season two of Love Life Superstars, I wanted to review my new Sumire cosplay, specifically Sumire's cosplay from the song Hajimari wa Kimi no Sora. But before we get into reviewing this cosplay, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because then I will know if you want more cosplay content. This cosplay is from the store CG Cosplay, which is one of my favorite Taobao stores. I just wanted to mention that before we get into the unboxing portion of this video because I recorded that a few days ago. I had different videos planned in mind and it kind of, it's been a long, weird month. But yeah, let us get into past Gabby unboxing the cosplay and then we will come back for me, present day Gabby, giving you a review. There were a plethora, and by a plethora, I mean like four or five Sumire cosplays I could choose from at the time. And my dream Sumire cosplay currently obviously has to be nonfiction. And I am waiting and hoping and praying that my favorite cosplay store makes it. But until then, my favorite cosplay store made these. These, I think this is clearer. I also obviously got a wig, so we will be unboxing these two pieces and then future Gabby will be trying them on. Also, I will say, when I ordered this cosplay, weirdly through Biner, um, the seller only sent the coat first and then not the rest of the cosplay. So I made sure I got the whole thing before they mailed it to me, but that was a little weird. I think we should actually do the wig first before we open and look at the cosplay because the wig is not as exciting, no offense to that, but it did come with my little Sumiri headband. You know I love an accessory and I love that they put her little bow on it too. Very, very cute. Also, this is like my 10,000th blonde cosplay wig. And you know what? At least it came with a blonde cap. Ooh, let's see what we think. She has her little curl styled. I mean, that's the one thing that's gonna suck about cosplaying Sumira is having to constantly recurl the little curly bits. But overall, she's a very nice color. I think she's very pretty. She's a little shiny for my taste and a little frizzy, but I do like that the curls are already pre-curled. Sorry, I'm distracted. My lizard is right behind you and he is climbing all over his cage, being a small little menace to society. But I think it's very soft. It is a little thin, not thin in like the cap, but like the bottom feels a little thin for me. But future Gabby will hopefully cut the bangs or beg someone else to cut the bangs for me because I am scared of wigs, even though I've been cosplaying for a long time. We're keeping the headband on, I don't care if it's ridiculous. Also, I will link the cosplay and the wig that I bought through Taobao, I will link the Taobao links. Um, if you have questions about how to shop through Taobao and what services I use, please let me know in the comments. If I get enough comments about it, I will do like a Taobao shopping guide video, so. Just, just letting y'all know. Oh my God, we have another headband. Oh my, we have two. Look, we have two headbands now. We're being ridiculous today. It's, I turned the air conditioning off literally to film this video. So um, the probably the heat exhaustion is making me delirious. So let's start with the dress, which definitely needs a nice little iron, but oh my goodness, she's so pretty. She's so, oh, stop, they have little flowers and the flower has each of their colors. Sorry, this is like me being a sentimental little baby. But the dress, let's see, she is not lined, but we have our good old back zipper. I prefer it this way. It was a little stiff, but honestly, it's just stiff right up at the collar, which is to be expected because it's another layer of fabric for the zipper to go through. The inside has like this weird like mesh lining only in the top. I don't know if it's to keep it like airy or cool. I'll show you, but like it's lined with like this mesh fabric in the top. 
which is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And then we have her little green stars. This is the first time I've liked a green idol. This is insane for me. But I do love, this needs to be ironed. This is very soft though. And I like that it is a back zipper. And then we have like the little like trim on the so shoulder sleeves and it's darted in the front. I feel like this will fit very nicely. And then if you want to know, I got an Asian medium. Usually that's what I get from CG Cos. I find that that fits me better and that the large runs a little big on me. So that is what I got. And then we have so many accessories. I think these are like little wrist. What do you call these? Is this what this is for? Does it go here? I think it does. I don't know what else these would be for. I think they're little like wrist pieces, which is weird because you have the coat. Then we have the good old socks. What is fascinating and why I think these cosplay socks might succeed at life is they have ribbon so you can tie a bow so maybe it fits. Because like, I don't know about anyone else. Notoriously, cosplay socks do not stay up. They don't. They simply do not. Then I have a red tassel on a ribbon. Don't really know where that goes. And I have another little red ribbon. Do not know where that goes. We will figure that out when I try it on. And then I think the last big piece is, of course, the coat. And this is one of the main reasons I love these outfits. I just think this is such a practical cosplay for a con because it has real pockets. The pockets are real. Look at that. You can put things in your cosplay. I'm not kidding. That was like half the reason I really wanted this cosplay is I thought having pockets would be awesome. So let me just pop her on. Also, I love, let me, I'll show you in a second, but I love these like balloon sleeves that the jacket has. I think it's so cute and oh my goodness. This is not a summer cosplay. This jacket is not a breathable material, but it's so cute. I love the jackets. At Anime Boston, there was a group also in the Idol Showcase that had these outfits, and I was like, I'm very happy that I ordered them because they looked so cute. And like I said, the pockets are real. Both pockets are real. This is revolutionary. I think that's all the pieces though that I have to show. Now we will cut to future Gabby trying everything on. Hopefully she cut her Sumire bangs by herself and hopefully she didn't cry while doing it. But future Gabby will give you that report. Thank you past Gabby and now future Gabby here or present Gabby to tell you what I think of this. So first of all, I think the dress is incredibly comfortable and very nicely constructed. I am currently alone, so I can't zip it up all the way, and that's why the neck looks really big, but it would fit, if I could zip it up by myself, it would fit like that, okay? You get it, we get it, good. I think it is super soft. It definitely needs to be ironed or steamed in some way. It is super wrinkly, especially in the skirt, and it is bothering me, so I desperately need to do that before I wear this, but the dress itself is super, super comfortable, super, super well constructed like I will say my natural waist is a little bit higher than the waist of the dress itself but I also am quite short so things always fit me a little weirdly because I am small person but oh my goodness this jacket is the greatest cosplay thing I have ever owned this is the best like, I can't wait to wear this. I have plans to wear this in the fall with a group, and I'm very excited. And I just think it is the most comfortable thing I have ever put on my body. Like, I didn't think this would be a comfy cosplay. I thought like the dress would be super structured and uncomfy. Like, I didn't think this would be comfortable. This may end up being my like cosplay that I bring to cons as like a comfy thing to change into which is something I've wanted to have, and I'm very bad at doing. But I think this is my current 
comfy at least for like fall winter cons like this would not be like a summer con comfy outfit because like I said before the jacket is pretty thick it is lined it is so freaking comfortable though and it has wait can I is the hood real or is the hood fake stop oh I am so cool I am the coolest kid in school today I am obsessed not that you need the hood for anything but I quite like it I love the headband that goes with this also with the little tassels and I have also you know my other Sumiri headband for my wig now the question is do the socks stay up I don't know because I don't quite feel like putting them on but I still feel like they're going to be typical cosplay socks because they're that very slippery stretchy material that they're not going to stay up but I have faith in them because of the ties but then that also means that I'm going to have you know like when you wear like thigh highs and you have like the little like like I'm going to have that which I'm fine with I like that but I'm just keeping that in mind for people okay wait what are these things can I I'm looking at the cosplay what are are these little like does she have funky little arm what are these what is this Oh, they are little funky. She does wear these as little like wrist warmers. What do you call these? I remember in the 90s and like early 2000s, like you'd have like sweatbands. Are these sweatbands? What are these? What is this? But I think they're cute. Like I like it poking out because I mean, for me, the jacket, the jacket is quite long. Again, small person here. If you are of normal height and of normal proportions, this probably fits perfectly. On small person with weird proportions, it still fits really nicely and it's insanely comfortable. Now, pulling up my Viner account is a stressful thing, but I have so many points. So many points. Okay, so if you don't know how Viner works, it is a in-between from Taobao to wherever you are. So they basically compile everything and then ship it to you. So the cosplay itself cost me $60, which I think is extremely reasonable for the quality and the comfort and the fit of this cosplay. I think it is extremely well made. I love it, love it. I think, I honestly, I would say I would even pay close to 70 for how nice a quality this costume is. And then for shipping, I don't, like it's hard to tell you how much I paid for shipping because like I shipped like multiple things so I can't give you like an estimate of how much shipping costs but typically shipping is affected by like how much it weighs and how quickly you want it to arrive so typically I pay maybe like $20 to ship an item per item depending how many things are in my order. I don't know how well I can really gauge how much shipping costs, but I think for $60, maybe with shipping $70 to $80, I think this is extremely worth it. Like 100% would recommend. So this goes up to an Asian XL, which is typically like a US large. So they don't have a custom size option this store, but I know sometimes if you contact stores, they're able to do custom sizing, but it really just depends on the store. I have never done custom sizing with CG before, so I can't give you advice on that. But I think if you fit the straight sizing of Asian sizing, this is extremely worth it. I'm so excited to wear this. I mean, so I haven't styled my wig, which we all, you saw past Gabby. Past Gabby was like, Gabby, style it. Gabby, get in cosplay. It's not happening today. No, it's not. I'm quite tired, honestly. But I'm quite excited to see this with the full Sumire blonde wig. Just pretend I have bangs and pretend my hair is blonde. And it looks great! But yeah, I'm so, so happy. I literally cannot wait for... I'm not getting... Honestly, I might do a shoot in this before my actual group is supposed to do it. And by group, I mean like a group of like cosplay friends I'm going to cosplay with. It's not, it's not an idolized thing, okay? Okay, I just have to clarify that because someone's going to ask. But yes, I might have to shoot this before then because I just think it's the most comfortable thing in the world. Like, I'm sorry, this is peak, perfect cosplay. 
galaxy. Thank you all so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, yes, you make sure you subscribe as well. I would really appreciate it. Woo! And in the comments, please let me know who your favorite Liela girl is. Obviously, mine is Sumire, followed by Chisato and Kuku. I don't know enough about the new ones that were just added, but I love them aesthetically. I just don't know anything about them yet. Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter to see cosplay content and random random thoughts that pop in my head. But yes, I will be posting Sumire photos there, hopefully very, very soon. I need to wear this for a photo shoot like immediately. I just, I love it so much. I haven't put on a cosplay in so long that I'm this excited about. Like, I'm sorry, this is like, the fact that it looks good and is comfy is beyond me. This doesn't happen. If you cosplay, you know things that look good are never comfy. It's just a fact. But this, worth it. Also again, there's pockets. The pockets are real. My new favorite, wait, does my phone fit in the pocket? This is important. Granted, hopefully I have a new phone soon. <gasps> my phone fits in the pocket! Oh, I can't wait to wear this to a con and not have to have a bag. And with that, thank you all again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Just pretend I have a wig on. It makes the illusion work.